Verizon is making a bigger move into mobile video. And here to talk about that is Anton Troyansky. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm okay. So you met with the CEO yesterday, mm -hmm. and he made some revealing comments to you about their plans regarding uh, mobile video. That's right. Verizon is thinking a lot about mobile, mobile video right now because they're working on getting a controversial new partnership with the cable companies approved. And one key aspect of that is going to be finding new ways to integrate your um, landline pay TV service with your mobile phone. So one of the things he said is that they uh, hope to, by the end of this year, to roll out a product that would start doing that that start letting you get channels on your mobile phone that you're already paying for on your TV at right. home. And we've seen this a little bit with some cable companies who allow customers to do it within their house, meaning that within yes. your home you can get it on your mobile device. What he's talking about is outside the home while traveling or no matter where you are being able to have that same type of access. Yeah, and outside the home is, is this, I think, much more complicated battleground in the content space uh, because there is, I mean, with smartphones, with tablets, with faster mobile networks, there is, in theory, a huge opportunity and a huge demand for uh, watching video when you're on the bus or you in the park. You say in theory, and so my question <laughs> is, we've talked about this now for years. Verizon has offered, I, I used to watch little streams of, I don't know, ABC News mm -hmm. on my Motorola phone before I switched to an iPhone. Um, is there demand among consumers to actually watch television on those tiny little screens wherever they are? I think there is, but you have to weigh that against how much it costs. And right now the cost is prohibitively expensive for most people. I mean, we saw that when the iPad, the new iPad came out a couple weeks ago, you know, it runs on this newer, faster network, which is great for mobile video, except you can run through $30 worth of data in two hours. Mm -hmm. So that's too much money for a lot of people. And I think for mobile video to really take off the mobile carriers are going to have to figure out new ways of pricing this data to make it more appealing to consume and, on that video. And Lowell talked about that in, in the interview, that maybe trying to do like a bundle thing where you're paying one price for what you would pay for, mo for your mobile and for whatever you get in the house. Yeah, that's that, right. That's the one thing they're talking about is um, like account-based billing where, you know, you maybe you pay for one big block of data that you can use on all your different devices. Um, but, you know, in itself, I think if still, if the price per gigabyte stays the mm -hmm. same, it'll still be really expensive. You know, what Lowell's uh, said and what a lot of the Lowell carriers the uh, of, of, of right, the CEO of Verizon, um, and a lot of the carriers are saying this, A, we think uh, the cost per gigabyte will come down as our uh, mm -hmm. antenna and stuff mm -hmm. become more efficient. But B, a lot of people in the business expect that people will end up paying more for their wireless uh, service because they'll be using it more. And that, I think, is still an open question. And maybe take some money out of other parts of their household budget to, to compensate for that. Maybe. And I think that that's why you're seeing the cable companies increasingly interested in mobile because they do have to be a bit concerned about how they hold on to the customer and how they hold on to their share of the customer's wallet as mobile services become more powerful. Mobile and all the cord cutting, people getting rid of their cable and satellite services. Yeah, so the, so the ca cable companies want to be part of that, right? And, and so this um, new partnership between Verizon and the cable companies is going to allow them to sort of market products together and not end up cutting each other out, which does concern some consumer yeah. advocates. Does, does Verizon's Fios service have anything to do with it? That's a TV service too, is it? Yeah, I think it would, be, it would be part of this. Okay. Um, but, you know, that only hits like 14% of the country. So right. that's another reason Verizon wants to do this cable partnership is that gives them a much bigger landline footprint. Mm -hmm. And that's why Verizon may be well positioned to do this because they've got the Fios, they've got the relationships with the cable, and they've got the wireless network. It's just a lot of people and a lot of customers and a lot of partners to juggle at the table, and we'll have to see how that all works yes, out right at Yes, and a lot so, of content providers, right? Exactly, exactly. So yeah. there's going to be a lot of people aching to get their hands on that type of money. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Anton, for coming in. Thank you.